What's up guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to show you how to build Annie and Clarabelle. So this is Annie and Clarabelle with Thomas, and you can see this is what they look like together. And we have Annie in the front and Clarabelle in the back. You can see there, there's a missing window here that Annie doesn't have, and that's how you can tell the difference between the coaches. So anyways, let's get started. So first off, we're going to take a gray wool and make it three blocks above the tracks like that and make it three blocks wide and 26 blocks long so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 and just extend it the other way going all the way back to the front and we're also gonna add the pistons for the buffers so we're gonna add that on either side right at the front like that and same thing in the back and then we're gonna fill in the rest of the side with the gray wool this side too and you'll notice that the pistons are right at the side of uh, the coach so it's not <laughs> the, the buffers they don't align which is weird but oh well that's that's just how it is and let's add a coupling with the lever in the middle and also under here we want to add more levers so that the pistons stick out and they actually look like buffers so like that and then let's get an uh, orange hardened clay border. Should make this border wall two blocks tall, going all the way around the perimeter. Alright, the next step is adding the windows. So if you look at uh, Annie, you'll see that there's pairs of three. Or do, can I even say? Nah, there's sets of three. There's four sets of three windows. So that there's three windows and then there's a two block uh, wide column between them. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to make one set of windows. So three like that. And then there's a space of two which we're going to put a double wide column and we're just going to make four sets of win these windows all the way and you'll know if you do it right if you have the black stained glass right at the edge and I'm just doing the same thing on the other side and after this let's fill in the gaps so just get these orange hard and clay just fill it in all throughout this coach alright so once we're done with that let's add another layer of this orange hardened clay right on top of the windows going all the way around and once we're done with that let's add a light gray wool a carpet on the side top the top of the sides I mean <laughs> and right now you can't it doesn't really matter which side is the front or the back because they both should be the same and then let's add the middle roof which is just using uh, these stone slabs Alright, next let's add the wheels. So 
let's take a black wool and after this uh, set of windows we just go down here and make this t-shape right on top of the tracks same thing on the side and let's go to the back right around here one two three just the same thing that we did on the front and in the corners of these wheels we want to add these nether brick stairs like so same thing in the front oh I just deleted that <laughs> and I did it again wow alright so then let's add these nether brick stairs to the sides of the wheel so that they are, are attached to the rest of the carriage and in the middle of these wheels we want to add an axle so just add these nether brick slabs like that and those are the wheels and let's make the lettering that they have so for both Annie and Clarible I just put the same uh, bar of quartz which is four blocks wide and I put it right at the middle so right where this column is I just got to place some quartz underneath it four blocks wide fill that in and right now and you can see this is pretty much uh, the basic design and now we're gonna have these little details so that you can know which side is the front and the back so as you can see this iron bar is close to the edge so this means it's the back part well if it's uh, farther from the edge that's the front part so that's another thing I learned when I was making this so let's add the iron bar so we just go up to the front and add it right after the second in the set of windows and we want to do that for each set so you can see it's after the second window each time and we're just doing the reverse for this one so after the first one and yeah that that's the iron bars on the side and let's add this little nose to the front actually it's kinda big in the middle like that and that's how you can tell which side is what and then you can I wouldn't put eyes in Minecraft it would just look weird so I just left it like that and that's Annie so if you want to make Clarabelle you will just have to fill in this window on the front side of her so you're just going to make Annie again but uh, in reverse so you want the iron bars on the just to flip direction and we just want to fill in the window and that should be how you build Clarabelle so that's pretty much how you build Annie and Clarabelle I hope you guys enjoy this video and you can finally add Thomas to a train which is nice and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so I am working on a couple more trains. We have the Metra here, which is <laughs> still in the works. It's nowhere near done. And over here, I got a couple more trains on the way. We have the Australian NR class right around here. This is uh, Pacific National. And here is uh, AEM7 for Amtrak, which is what the ACS 64 replaced and here we have a Caltrain I forgot what's it called like some kind of PHI and here we have a GE-8 for Amtrak and those are the trains that are going to be on the way soon uh, they probably won't be in order and maybe I'll have a couple different more trains but that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you do please hit that like button below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos in the future and I'll see you guys next time bye